I'd like to call to order the uh, meeting of the Hammond Capital Improvements Board for September 7th, 2021. Uh, may I have a roll call, please? Flores? Here. Krasinski? Here. Prieto? Here. Spitali? Here. Tyler? Benez? Button? Button's here, uh, five present, two absent. Uh, next item on the agenda is item three, consideration of the past meeting minutes. Uh, board members, you should have received in your packet a copy of the minutes for the last meeting. Is there any comments, questions, or other? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. And, uh, um, a motion by Commissioner Flores, seconded by Councilman Spitali. Uh, is there any discussion on the minutes? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call on the motion. Flores? Yes. Krasinski? Yes. Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Benez? Button. Button votes yes. Uh, motion carries five uh, yay, two absent. Um, item number four is a report on the work study session. The, uh, this afternoon, uh, work study session was not held, so there is no report. Item five is funding. Our uh, city controllers here. Is there anything on funding you'd like to talk about today, Megan? Mr. President? There's no update on funding since the last meeting. Thank you. No additional comments on funding at this time. Item number six is matters from mayor, council, or other departments. Um, I would just uh, first of all like to recognize that uh, Councilman Kalwinski is in the audience, as is our president from the Redevelopment Commission, Mr. Tony Halprich, and uh, Matt Muta is also present. Commissioner Prieto, did you have something? Uh, no, being no matters, we'll move on to uh, item seven, old business. Is there any old business? No old business, new business, uh, new and unfinished business. Item A, funding allocation, 177th Oxbow Road, Geotechnical Design Engineering Services in the amount of $9,800. Is there a motion to approve? Mr. President, make a motion to approve. Commissioner Krasinski? Uh, makes a motion. Uh, Commissioner Prieto uh, is a second on the motion for the, the item 8A, the funding allocation for 177th and Oxbow Road. Uh, is there any discussion? Uh, so for the record, this is an agreement with uh, Advanced Engineering Services of Hammond, Indiana to do the geotechnical engineering uh, services, which include soil borings, uh, corings, and uh, pavement design. Uh, for Oxbow Road, for which uh, we have previously engaged Hammond Weigel Klein, uh, HWC, uh, to uh, perform the uh, engineering design, but requires geotechnical specialty services. Is there any other discussion? Any other discussion? Uh, there's been a motion and a second. Uh, can I get a roll call on the motion? Flores? Yes. Krasinski? Yes. Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Finez? Yes. Button? Yes, uh, motion carries six present, one absent. And I would like the record to reflect that uh, Councilwoman Finez is present. Next item on the agenda is uh, item A to B, a funding allocation for Chicago Street Phase 1. Uh, the addition of uh, modifications to 35 stormwater manholes to improve accessibility in the amount of $29,400. Is there a motion to approve? Thank you, uh, Coun Councilman Spitali. Um, is that uh, Councilwoman Venez? Yes. Councilwoman yes. Venez, second. Thank you. Uh, on the motion, um, is there any discussion? Uh, I would just like to say that uh, project did not uh, originally contemplate uh, benches. It's what they're what are they called? They're concrete um, cast in place uh, benches. So they 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 are formed 
to allow the stormwater to flow easily through the manhole. And what happens is uh, the manhole is round, right? The, the pipes come in and out of the manhole on the upstream and downstream side, and there may be other connections through. And you, you can't, in the manhole, have a sump to collect debris because um, that's generally what you see in a catch basin um, to collect that debris. If it's not captured in there, we want it to move down. And so these benches are poured to establish a what's called a flow line through the manhole. Um, this was a request made by Jack Smith, the department head for the Hammond Sanitary District Sewer Maintenance Division, um, to, to add these uh, to this and, and also future projects. Uh, it was not eligible for 100% funding or any funding through the state project, and therefore this is 100% um, uh, local match, in the amount of $29,400 to the contractor Grimmer, Grimmer Construction. Is there any other discussion? Any other discussion? Sorry. Any? So Grimmer, Grimmer is the general contractor. This is a change order um, for the modifications to that particular project. You're welcome. Um, so I'm, for those of you that are online, um, there's some, I'm, I'm, I just need to let you know that there's a little bit of difficulty because normally the Zoom displays a, a, a highlighted bar around the, the individual speaking. And for some reason it's not doing that. And that's why I was confused with uh, Councilwoman Venez's second earlier. Um, so please bear with me. Um, I'm not sure why it's not displaying. Um, so please bear with me on that. Uh, so we had a motion and a second, right, on the, uh, on the uh, request for funding allocation. We had discussion. Uh, I would ask uh, for a roll call on the motion. Flores? Yes. Krasinski? Yes. Prieto? Yes. Spitali? Yes. Tyler? Vanessa? Yes. Button? Button votes yes. Motion carries six present, one absent. Next item on the agenda is communications. The communications uh, lists seven items. Um, I'll read them off. A finished striping on Holman Avenue. Uh, this was as a result of a letter uh, from our esteemed uh, councilman of the first district, Councilman um, Mark Kalwinski, who is present. Um, he had seven items on, on the list of actions uh, that he wishes this board to, to uh, consider. One is item A, a finished striping of Holman Avenue with bike lanes and automobile lanes north uh, to Goslin. Uh, item B is uh, complete the concrete ribbon curb started in 2019 that was put on hold a two, two foot wide around the grassy islands on Heyman Court, Burton Court, Roosevelt Drive, and the Water Gardens. Item C, Torrance Avenue from Goslin to Hudson. Item D, West Park Avenue, three blocks. Item E, Warwick Avenue. Item F, 117th Street, Lake Avenue to Caroline uh, near Forsyth Park. And item G, 139th Street from Baltimore to Holman. So uh, those can certainly be referred to engineering for uh, scoring and recommendation. And uh, Councilman, you're here today. Would you, is there anything you'd like to add at this point? Good afternoon, one and all. Thank you for taking uh, my list under advisement. Uh, some of these projects listed here have been on the books since the beginning of time. Uh, as you know, First District is the district with the most miles of streets in the entire city, and consequently the need is dire for streets to get done. Uh, at the beginning of time, when I first became councilman, uh, and we were getting about three to three and a half million dollars a year uh, to do construction of streets, it was a good time because back then we were getting most of those dollars, around three million, and streets fully loaded 
under, underground and above were running around 320, 330,000 a block. So we were able to do a number of blocks uh, across the district, generally a project in North Hammond and a project in Robertsdale. In time, a few years after the beginning of our t first term, uh, needs of the city became uh, greater than their budget and the mayor consequently would ask for help from the districts. Initially we provided some of that assistance uh, and in time that need became greater uh, every year. Consequently the districts were getting a half, two-thirds, sometimes a third of their uh, gaming dollars because the administration required additional dollars to budget to balance the budget. So in time projects got stalled, delayed, um, and we started working on just above ground because that was all the money we had. Uh, so consequently a number of these projects that have been on the books since honestly since I got into office laid there dormant because we just had, didn't have sufficient funds uh, as we were helping the administration balance the budget. In time, that 320, 330,000 per block of construction 18 years ago now has ballooned to, if you want to do the work underground and above ground, probably around 800,000 to a million per block. So becoming more difficult for us to do that, um, given that we're getting half to a third of our gaming dollars. And then with the new way of doing business through the Capital Improvement Fund uh, Board, funding now goes through you for these projects. So that's why we're here with a number of these projects listed. I didn't know if you just go one project at a time or do we just give you a list and you go from there. So I submitted a list where all of these are worthy projects and they all require uh, attention yesterday. So uh, I listed them in the order I thought made sense regarding the needs of those uh, blocks. Uh, Mylon is aware, uh, I think, of a lot of the projects in Robertsdale and the need and as well as you, Dean, but that, seeing that both of you live in that area. Uh, so I'm here before you to try to get as many of these projects scored, rated, whatever it is, and funded so that we can get things business done. It's been a long time since we've gone underground with projects and some of these require that. So I'm asking for you to give consideration to these projects and as some of you know, uh, administration and I are again talking about a swimming pool at Pulaski Park. And again, that may be something that I come before you about in the future, I don't know. Time will tell what happens with that. So thank you for the time I, and the attention and uh, good luck in helping us find the funds to do some of this work in the first district. Thank you, Councilman. Do you have any questions of me? Questions for the Councilman? Thank you for your presentation. Okay. Um, uh, in, any other communications? Um, uh, there uh, would be a item, uh, next item on the agenda would be a matter of public expression. I don't think anyone is present to sign in other than the department heads and the councilman that was here. Um, I did, before we go to adjournment, I, I did want to reach out to our uh, council, um, if possible, um, Kristen, could you uh, bring us up to speed on where we are with the governor's um, executive order uh, related to COVID and meetings and what we're supposed to do either you know, now or if there's any changes or what we expect might happen uh, in the future?
So in the event that we are taking a vote, we need to actually be witnessed on on the video. So I guess we need to remember that for next time if we if we can, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, any other uh, things to be brought to this board? Okay, next meeting uh, is uh, a new year. September 20th is our, is our next meeting. Um, we'll plan on a, uh, a work study session at four and a regular meeting at five. I don't believe there's a conflict because that is the plan commission night and that would be a six o'clock meeting. And so uh, uh, we would see you all then. I would ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. And is there a second? Second. Motion by uh, Count, uh, Commissioner Krasinski, seconded by Commissioner Flores to uh, adjourn this meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned.